22 things we learned in dental hygiene school that we think you should know right now from the dental hygiene class of 2022 and Healthy Colleges Montana for this special Tuesday, 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 February 22nd, 2022. Even in this first world country, periodontitis and cavities are significantly prevalent. Almost 50% of Americans over 30 years of age have some form of periodontal disease and over 90% of American adults have had cavities. Losing teeth is not a natural part of aging. With proper home and professional care, you should be able to keep all your teeth your entire life. Periodontal disease is linked to multiple systemic diseases such as diabetes, Alzheimer's disease, cardiovascular disease, and osteoporosis. As well as if you have periodontal disease, you are at higher risk for these conditions. Brushing in circles is for children. Brushing along the gum line is for adults. The Stillman based technique is the method at which the toothbrush bristles are at a 45 degree angle. And this is important along the gum lines because this is where periodontitis starts. Calculus, commonly known as tartar, is not the bad guy itself, but it makes great hiding spots for the bacteria that do harm you. Regular dental cleanings are important to remove these hiding spots because once calculus forms, it can't be removed at home. Even with all of our modern science, we cannot reverse bone loss or attachment loss, but it can be stopped. It's important to see your professional dental provider for cleanings so that it can be prevented and the bacteria can be removed. When brushing your teeth, you should do it with little force. If you use too much force, then that can cause damage to your enamel, uh, gum loss, and contribute to tooth sensitivity. For this reason, the American Dental Association only recommends you use soft bristle toothbrush. Breads can be worse than some candies. These are called retentive foods. Things like chocolate are washed away quickly by saliva, while bread and crackers stick around longer and give the bacteria the food they need to survive, while the bacteria produce acid. We should wait 20 to 30 minutes to brush our teeth after eating. Eating lowers the pH in our mouth and the enamel becomes compromised at 5.5. We don't want to be brushing on compromised teeth. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes for our teeth to neutralize back to its normal range. On the same lines, if you vomit, switch with water after. You want to get the stomach acid out of your mouth and your mouth neutralize as soon as you can. So um, fluoride is important to be on the tooth surface for about two minutes because it helps um, <clears throat> actually absorb the tooth surface and it allows the tooth to withstand acid from 4.5 to protect the enamel. So not all sugar is the same. Uh, for instance, like xylitol is a product that kind of actually helps kill bacteria and neutralizes acidity in your mouth. So if you look for products like xylitol and mints or gums, that would be great. I don't know why I learned this in dental hygiene school, but when you're pregnant, you only need to gain one half to one pound a week from the second trimester onward. Nothing extra. Primary teeth start to develop in the womb, and the mother's nutrition is especially important during that first trimester. Primary teeth are important for the eruption process of a permanent tooth. A permanent tooth will not be signaled to develop or erupt without a primary tooth present. Primary teeth are important to ma maintain space for permanent teeth. Baby teeth are spacers that help alignment of adult teeth and promote jaw development. Each child should see an orthodontist by age 7 or 8 as issues with the jaw can be detected early and addressed. This can include crowding and issues with the formation of the palate. Those mail-in aligners can be dangerous to your jaw and how your teeth fight together, which can lead to pain and expensive corrections. Dental professionals recommend that you consult with an orthodontist to see what works best for you um, because they're not only looking out to make sure your smile is straight, but to also make sure that it's functional. Mouth breathing can cause issues and it can be a sign of issues that should be addressed. There are specialists a dentist can refer you to to manage these issues. So a large part of bad breath is caused by bacteria on the tongue. You can clean the tongue by using a soft toothbrush or another soft device. The tongue is important and sensitive though, so be sure not to use too hard of scraping motions. As a dental hygienist student, I have learned that we do much more than just cleaning teeth. We are trained to do screenings and recognize abnormalities from the head and neck up, as well as oral cancer screenings. 
We also are trained to give some nutritional counseling and we have been extensively trained in local anesthesia to help with pain management. Dental hygienists learn so much in their education. And if you're interested in learning more about your oral health, our students at Great Falls College provide dental education as well as x-rays, cleanings, deep tissue cleanings, sealants, whitening trays at our dental clinic each semester. To set up an appointment, you can call us at 406-771-4364. Or to learn more about our dental hygiene program, visit our website at gfcmsu.edu.